Well guys, you guys love this selling session, so I figured, you know what, let me come to a local market. Uh, I actually sold here two weeks ago, but I didn't record, I only did one rack, but today I have my own booth kind of set up, so let me just show you guys what we're working with. So I brought, if you guys remember, if you've been watching me for a while, I did these custom jeans multiple years ago, and I've kind of just been sitting on them. So I brought that, we brought the women's LF stuff, and then this is kind of just colored t-shirts, just a mixture of uh, vintage t-shirts. We have a few sneakers. I have a couple off-white keychains, some rings that I don't wear anymore. The Selena shirt, if you guys saw that the other day, a grail piece. We have all the black t-shirts and then it kind of just goes into jackets, sweaters and stuff like that. So, nice little setup. We already sold uh, one Dolphins jacket for $30 and he might come back for the I Feel Like Kobe shirt. I told him I would do $20 on it. Uh, you guys saw we picked this up for a dollar the other day. so. We'll see if he comes back. The market just started, it's super slow right now. Uh, last week it was definitely busier around this time, but let's see, you know, we already made one sale, so it is what it is. Today's a Saturday, I won't be doing much, so I'd rather come here, get some content for you guys, and you know, make a couple sales here and there. So, catch up to you guys once we uh, get some more customers. Drinking that straight? No problem, man. So I'm selling a vintage 90s, um, Nike Windbreaker for $20, white tag. So like I said, he just bought that Nike Windbreaker. Uh, we paid like $2.50 for it, so it was really good. But a lot of people are looking at this, he was just looking at the Selena shirt, he was like, how much for it? And I told him $200. Uh, we have a high offer for $120 on Instagram at the moment, and I probably will end up taking that offer, but I feel like I can get closer to $150. Uh, it's in dead stock condition, you're never gonna find it, so I'm gonna hold out for $200 on it and we'll see. The market's super slow today, we've only had those two sales so far, but you know, we can't complain, like I said, I sold for 30 and for 20 so 50 bucks for being here so far and uh, we'd just be at home so $50 is better than nothing do you have cash by chance or cash app Zell oh, I do I do yep any of those work so I just sold uh, one of those last three I don't even know, the hoodies that you guys see for uh, $40, so not bad. Like I said, this week is very slow. Uh, not many people walk through, but you know, some sales is better than no sales, so we can't, we can't, you know, beggars can't be choosers, so at least we're making some money. Like I said, we would be sitting at home not making, I mean, we would be making money because we sell stuff online, but you guys get the chance, you know, we're chilling. This way might be better. Tell me if I need to adjust it. How would I wear this? Like, that's the good, that's the Yeah. We're selling the vintage Dodgers jacket for $80. So I just sold a Nike Essential, just a gray tag Nike with a little swoosh and broidered swoosh for $20. I had it listed for $30, told him $20, you took it instantly. Uh, like I said, the market is very slow today. I'm only up maybe about $250. So I'm selling a Carlos Santana shirt, a uh, Disney hoodie, and then the Carlos Zabelenton. We're selling all of it for $50. Bucks. I just sold him a pair of custom denim for uh, $20, so shout out to him. So I'm selling a vintage 94 soccer joint and a Stussy long sleeve for $30. So basically the event's wrapping up now, uh, it's slowing down. I'm about $350, $350 for today, which again we can't complain, but we still have a good amount of stuff. Uh, people are still coming in, but it's definitely very slow, so we'll see. Well, I'm all packed up. I just came back from Chipotle. Yo, one thing that me living in Miami, when I lived in Fort Lauderdale, Chipotle was literally right by my house. So I would eat there multiple times a week. Now that I live in Miami, a Chipotle is literally probably 20, 30 minutes away. So I only get to eat there maybe once in a while. And this is actually the first time I've eaten there since I've lived in Miami, which is probably about two months now. So it was nice to have Chipotle. But uh, today wasn't too bad. It was a very slow day. Uh, we ended up making about $400 today in total, which, you know, compared to the $1,200 at the sneaker event, it doesn't compare, you know, it's literally three times less. But also, it's a Saturday, you know, it's it's the day before Mother's Day, I would be at home uh, chilling with Captain. Yeah, I probably would have a few sales, 
Um, but at the end of the day, $400 cash, you can't beat that. I don't have to ship anything, don't have to use any labels, no shipping anything, it's just cold hard cash, flip it. So it's kind of funny, we only have maybe two or three of those hoodies left that you guys saw. We had 10 of them and they literally have been selling 40, 50, 60 dollars a piece. We paid $2.50 for them. I do have three of them in my stash. So technically we only really have one left because I wanna keep three uh, for myself because again, they're amazing hoodies. No wonder that they're selling so fast because they're really good quality hoodies. But uh, I'm headed home now. I'm gonna quickly take a shower, clean up, uh, just relax. I have to unload my car so. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make this a full video or if I'm gonna combine this with thrifting, so let me cut, let me get home, let me uh, clean up, and uh, I'll catch up to you guys in a little. The following day, just found this brand new, still box sealed Pyrex uh, Forest Fantasies. There's one list on eBay for about $84 plus shipping. I'm getting a candle for myself. And as far as clothes, we have this vintage Nike little windbreaker, has a Nike little spell out on the back. I found another Black History double sided. This I gotta look up, but it's Fish, the band. It's like a concert shirt, seems like. Thought the graphic was cool on this, double-sided. This I'm bringing to the market to sell for girls, I feel like, Guns N' Roses. Um, this I gotta look up what soccer jersey this is. Found this really nice embroidered Yankees button down shirt we found a nightmare before christmas sweater we found a vintage nike little embroidered gold i might leave this actually has some stains on it let somebody else deal with that uh we found this lion king shirt disney lion king and then we found a nirvana so someone definitely dropped off all their car hearts we have three different colorways all 32 32 we have this green colorway we have this brown colorway, and then we have a gray colorway. Sorry, I put all these on the hanger and they're really messed up. Let me organize it. So like I said, we have the gray colorway, brown, and then like this green, all Carhartts. For t-shirts, we found this Ferrari t-shirt. I'm gonna put this back, Smackdown Live Raw. It's only worth like eight, 10 bucks. Uh, we found this majestic Hall of Fame New York Yankees with all of the Hall of Famers on the back. And then we found this super sick, I just love the detail on it, little moon hit on the zipper found in the women's section and then we found this uh, drug and gun shirt for my personal collection. I don't know if this is authentic or not but we have the Drew hoodie and then look someone dropped off three pairs of these kids Jordans. Start off with this all over Rugrats print. It does not have a print, but it's obviously gonna be new age. Uh, it's not gonna be vintage, but I just thought it was super cool. We did end up finding two of these brand new with the tags. One's a 4XL and one's a large. This Golf Wang with a little ice cream. On the back has a little Golf LaFleur. Found this really nice Miami Hurricanes embroidered hoodie. And I like it because it even has embroidered on the sleeves, so it's really nice. The fade on this is just perfect, like a perfectly faded gray black hoodie found this VH1 music first on the jerseys tag little vintage VH1 found a lot of soccer jerseys again uh, we have this Nike Paris Jersey we have I don't even know what Jersey this is Lyonese we have the I'm not gonna even say the names because I keep messing up I need to look this up the Paris Saint Germain uh, we found this really nice Patagonia little zip we found this other soccer jersey, Hard Rock Cafe, little baseball jersey. We found this vintage skateboarding split t-shirt. Found this 10 years strong wrestling, double sided. Old school Miami Hurricanes, super sick graphic. Finally a NASCAR shirt, sadly it's a one. I don't really find NASCAR shirts. This I'm probably just gonna keep for myself. It's good condition, just a plain white Psycho Bunny. We did find this a Bathing Ape shirt. Pretty sure it's uh, fake, but for a dollar, you know, we'll take the gamble and figure it out. Next to the Bape, we did find this Odd Future shirt. Little Odd Future Donuts. Brand new BMW M Series with the tags t-shirt. Really nice Nike Miami basketball jersey. Vintage Rollerblade shirt, tag 1992. Versace collection t-shirt, 
has a bunch of stains, but I feel like that would just wash out. And last but not least, we have this vintage uh, Don Cholula Chihuahua shirt.